Yeah. <clears throat> okay. For sure. For What's... extra life because it was a, you know a twenty four hour thing. They had a game that was starting at midnight and going to four a.m. And oh I was like, goodness. how? How do people exist at that hour? Um, Ooh. Most would say coffee. Yeah. I I got up at four a.m. this this week, uh, but I also fell asleep. At 7.40 p.m. the night before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I was so proud of myself. I was like, never in a million years did I think that I would be able to get up at 4 a.m. and be a functional human being. And sure enough, I did. It was wild. I got up at 4.30 this morning. <laughs> no. Did you really? Yeah, but it's like, it's not like, a, like, so I'm used to getting up at like 10 to 5 because my roommate goes to work and I make sure she gets to her car safe. Right. But then That's I like nice. roll over, go back to bed. Like, but I woke up today and like I tried yeah. to lay back down and could not fall back asleep for the life of me. Yeah. 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 That's so weird. It's so weird when your brain's like, now we're a human. We're doing it. Yep, we're just we're doing it. <laughs> doing the thing. Oh, dude. Okay. The uh, forge thing looks different. Yeah. Yep, the, the login. I just noticed that. Um, so couple things to note uh we'll go over the recap in a moment but uh i just introduced this with my wednesday game i'm go also going to introduce it with you guys um so to start for everybody being very patient with me um i'm going to be giving you an additional 10 points on your points card and i'll explain what that is in a moment um each of you right. has one on your character sheet right now okay. your points should uh, be five points on that card um so anybody can bring it up to 15 if they want. Or you can do the thing that the, the, the card is for. Basically how the points card is going to work is... Because I find that inspiration is kind of limited, you find yourself sitting on it if you're not really in a situation where you need to use it. Um, I wanted to find another way to reward you guys. If you do, you know, cool stuff or, you know, for showing up early or, you know, just that kind of thing. So, um... Throughout the session, sometimes I'll just say, hey, add this, you know, add five points to your points card. Um, at the beginning or end of session, you can spend five points to roll on the charms table. Charms are limited use items that provide temporary abilities or boons. You may redeem and hold multiple charms in one setting or one sitting. Sorry. Uh, these charms are locked to your character and are non-transferable. So you can't give them away, but you can hold on to them for as long as you want. Cool. Um, so everybody is starting the session with 15 points. Does anybody want to roll on the charms table? Um, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I, you know, it's been a couple weeks, but I know where I'm positioned in this battle, and I'm probably going to need some help. Yeah, all the help <laughs> you, you can know. get, right? All right, Rot Tooth, how many rolls? Are you, are you uh, well, okay? Uh, are you gonna do one, or Where's you gonna the... just blow your uh, points? Your points card is on your character sheet, like in your inventory. Okay. Yeah, you, I've you... I've updated it. Let's see. At the beginning of the session, it's been five points. Let's go. You know what? I mean, we're probably we're finishing this battle tonight. Yeah. yeah. All of them. All of them. All right. All so 15. so instead, bring it down. Bring your points down to zero, and we'll roll three charms for you. <laughs> Sick. We yes. got Charm of okay. Two Minds, Charm of Predation, oh and Charm of Accuracy. Uh, charm okay. of Two Minds. As a bonus action, activate this charm. You can concentrate on two spells at once. This effect ends when oh. one of the spells ends, uh, and the charm cool. vanishes after it is activated. Um, the Charm of Predation. When you kill a creature, you can expend one use of this charm to regain 2d8 hit points. The number of Ooh, D8s increased by one huge. for each level of the creature's CR above one. Huge. And that can huge. be used three times. <laughs> huge. 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 <laughs> um, charm, <laughs> charm of Accuracy. Expend a use of this charm to add 10 to one attack roll. You must declare that you are using this charm before you roll. Ooh. Right. Just an almost guaranteed hit. So go ahead and yeah. drag those three onto your character sheet. Uh, and okay, then we'll go down the list. Nice. Lady Frida, you have 15 points. How many charms are you getting today? Um, I'll roll 
twice. Okay. Or do it twice. Do it twice. Am I rolling something? Did I understand? Uh, I, I, uh, so I, I just, I will roll on the charms table. Whatever comes up okay. in the chat is what you get. Okay, deal. Yeah. And then I just changed my points. Okay, got it. Rot Tooth, you got your charms already? I, where, where do they go? And I You'll see them in your loop. Them over. Yeah. Oh, but are you doing okay? Okay, there they are. And then Charm of Accuracy. Okay. Yeah. Baller. Done. Yeah, yeah we're good. And I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put this here as well. I'm going to go grab my drink real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, Frida... Uh, if you haven't uh, adapted your points card, it started off with five. You can leave it at five. If you need to adjust it, you can do that as well. But we're oh, great. We're going to roll twice here. Okay. You get the charm of immolation and the monster charm. So the charm of immolation, whenever a creature moves within five feet of you or starts its turn within five feet of you, yes. it takes 1d8 fire damage, and this effect lasts for one minute after you activate it. What? <laughs> Uh, as for the monster charm, you activate this charm as an action. You transform your appearance to that of a horrible monster. All creatures of your choice within 15 feet of you must make a DC 15 wisdom save or become frightened of you for one minute. A frightened Wait. creature can repeat the save at the end of each of its turns, and the charm vanishes after two turns. Or after two oh uses, gosh. sorry. Rad. That sounds so fun! Yeah, so once again, you can go ahead and drag those onto your character sheet. Uh, aside from the rules like action, bonus action, you can hold on to them, use them at any time. Okay. So open up your character sheet and yep. go to the chat box at the top right. Uh, Galid is okay. grabbing a drink. Uh, Obertus, you rolling on the sure. charms table today? Sure, why not? How many spins? Um, two. Two? Okay. You get the respite charm. Activates its charm as a bonus action. You and up to six other willing creatures enter an opaque gem, uh, in, like, inside the charm. While inside the charm, you can hear and see as normal, but you cannot take actions or reactions. The charm is immune to damage, and you can stay inside the charm indefinitely. Any creature inside the charm can use a bonus action to exit the charm, appearing in a space adjacent to the charm's current location. And once all creatures have exited the charm, the charm vanishes. Uh, the other charm is the Glitter Charm. Uh, you activate this one as an action. Each creature in a 15-foot cone becomes coated in magic glitter for one minute. Affected creatures can't benefit from becoming invisible. And when you first activate the charm, all affected creatures must make a DC 15 con save or be blinded. A blinded creature can repeat the save at the end of each of its turns, ending the blindness on a success. And you get three uses of that. <clears throat> That respite charm is literally like a like the the panic button like yeah it, when shit goes south all right we we dip we recover uh, we plot so, we go again Obi you can uh, put that on your or drag those onto your character sheet uh, and lastly Galid we're we're going. We're going balls out. Balls uh, out. Spending, Three spending charms. it all. All right, let's do this. You get a charm of delicious spices, a charm of order, and a charm of glibness. Uh, charm of delicious spices. Activate this charm as an action. You can snap your fingers and produce a burst of color and glitter in your hand. The color is illusionary and harmless, but the glitter can be sprinkled on food to make it particularly delicious. Um, okay. the charm of order, you may activate this, uh, spell as an action or this charm as an action. Uh, and it's basically command. It's the command spell. Oh, uh, gotcha. Um, and then glibness, you activate this charm as an action. You have advantage on all charisma checks for one hour. Oh, Ooh, interesting. And are these charms... <clears throat> they're just kind of like in our inventory until we decide to use them exactly there's no like okay perfect. Yeah, no limit you you just can't trade them gotcha they're like account bound 
Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. For, so for Rotch, if he's got one that with spells, like you can just like burn that charm, like and it just the effect does nothing, right? Yeah. But maybe Rottooth learns spells, you know? Hey. You're you're muted. I can't hear you, buddy. I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Well, I've got the cantrip coin. Uh, that's the only way oh. that I can cast spells. Yeah. I don't know if the cantrip coin like is there a like I guess create bonfire is a concentration spell. Is it? No. It wait. I. Yes. I yeah. think it is because you have to move. Yeah. Because. I think so because of the when Lady Frida when Lady Frida has used it I believe. Was that? Create bonfire. Uh, the create bonfire. Create bonfire is a concentration. But the only thing ball. is, the cantrip coin, it, it goes away after. A it's a one use. use. Yep. Yeah, hey, but maybe yeah. you've, you you also have a magic missile spell scroll. So, like, you could find another scroll of another spell that you might want to use sometime and, and use it with the charm. Wait, I I do have that, don't I? Yeah. Yep, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'll just have to get another scroll, and I can just use it again. <laughs> or funny. something that lets you use, like, an at-will concentration spell. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but last we left our heroes... Um, you had kind of finished up doing a little bit of, like, downtime, um, back in the city, and decided to take on the quest of the Divine Dungeon. Um, on your way to the spot, uh, you ran into some gnomes, uh, that looked all very similar, but with different colored outfits that were selling slightly magical trinkets, um, <laughs> that sold you a couple of things, including um a like a flower vase um that uh flowers could never die in um soon after you arrived uh, at the karadesh runes where you planted the crystal of um the soon-to-be divine dungeon ceris uh, a soul trapped in a crystal uh voluntarily to become this new dungeon um, and, uh, we left off with you just kind of starting your defense, um, as the dungeon was starting to spread, uh, from these runes. Um, when we last kind of left off, we were just about to face this combat, um, and you were doing a little bit of pre-prep before, so everybody was getting into their spots. Um, Oberdus was kind of, like, popping up lights everywhere so that people could see along the way. Mm -hmm. um we did we roll initiative no we didn't so the first thing we're going to do first thing we're going to do is roll initiative How many dice? <laughs> There's a lot of skelly boys. And of course, when we left off, there were a bunch of shamble shambling skeletons that you didn't have a problem dealing with the last time. Yeah. But coming up in the rear was this huge ogre like skeleton. Yeah, big boy. Thick boy. Hey, hey, Ratu, that's you. That's you. That's you, buddy. All you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take more than that. It's all you, buddy. Oh, no. There we go. Just waiting for your roll, Obertus. Skeleton. Teeny tiny. Just gonna shamble up and like try to take a couple strikes at uh, Rot Tooth who's standing in the front. Sweet. A 
I'd say a couple, but just one. 22? That's a miss. Is it a miss? Yeah. My, my AC is 22. Did it not go down? Um, not anymore, because I have the... I have my man catcher, the um, morning star barricade. I've got my pauldron and um, my plate armor now. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You you upgraded to the plate armor. Yeah. Uh, then yeah, that is definitely a miss. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, confusing skeleton. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's gonna rush up on the side here and is going to uh, take a swing at Frida. I think there's something I can do about that since it moves past me. But I think it's gonna miss anyway. Uh, it does miss. <laughs> Get shit on. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what a bitch. Uh, unimpeded Ogre Skeleton uh, in the back is going to also take a, a pot shot at you, Rot Tooth. Uh, it's going to throw like this big... It, it looks like they just kind of like took a sharp rock that they found and strapped it to a tree trunk. Um, oh, cool. And it's going to like heave and toss it like a javelin. Great. Jesus. thing just like lands in the ground beside you i'm just like oh shit <laughs> uh obertus my turn yeah turn. okay i am going to it's my spell situation now Um, okay. Cast that bad boy. Yep. Get him out on the field. Um, uh, where do you want it? Range is 60 feet. Can I put it between the two guys there? Yeah, there we go. And... Uh, uh, Okay, it's weird. Why I was like my attack thing went away. Twenty one's uh, definitely a hit. Su Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> supreme skeleton. Energy gets supreme. Max damage. Supreme, yeah. Uh, oh, now one, two, three. Supreme, yeah. Oh, now one, two, three. I'm gonna blast the same dude. I love Tenacious D so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. First attack roll. Uh, the first. So the first. Uh, the spiritual weapon damage destroyed the supreme skeleton. Nice. Okay. Well, then south okay. skeleton right behind him yeah since i started blasting i started, I started blasting, blasting. <laughs> so 23 and a 12 uh, i'm assuming one hit maybe uh 23 hits and a 12 misses okay and that'll uh move forward just a little and We go. Uh, cautious skeleton uh, is going to. I think it's thirty feet. Uh, it's gonna come up and uh, swing at you, Rot Tooth. Okay. It's gonna be a miss. Uh, and it is your turn. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to end up having to do this. I can move in the same space as his spiritual weapon, right? 
Uh, yeah, I just don't think you can, like, end your turn in the same space as it. Because it still counts oh, as, okay. like, an ally. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Frida, are you going to be okay with these two skelly boys on you? Eh, it wouldn't be the first time, so. Okay, so I'm going to, um, move this way. I know I'm going to get two attacks of opportunity, or three, technically? Is that how that works? No, it'll just be two. Okay, because I'm going to move down to this guy. So the cautious skeleton and the teeny skeleton will get attacked of opportunity on me. Is that like a pygmy skeleton? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, mu like from the mummy. The mummy. Return. Oh. Uh, teeny misses on its attack of opportunity. He tried to bite your ankles. I think they have to roll a nat twenty to hit you. Oh dang, that sucks. Yeah. Oh no. Um Whatever, I fucked up. Okay, so I'm going to um <clears throat> do an athletics check against this long skeleton. Which is pretty hot. Let's do that. <laughs> Fifteen hits. Nice. Oh no, it's oh sorry, it's an athletics. athletics. Yeah. Oh, it beats a fifteen. Like it, it makes it. Okay, we're not doing that. I'm gonna use my inspiration. I'm not starting okay. the fight like that. <laughs> and no thanks. So I'll do it again. Yeah, it definitely doesn't beat a 26. Dick. Okay, so we are going to do... Uh, okay, well, I'm going to be pushing him into the pressing skeleton. Okay. So we can we can run that back real quick if you would like. You're pressing oh. him into the pressing skeleton? Yeah. Uh, what, the pressing has to make an athletics check? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's got to beat a 23. Yes, sir. Um, it doesn't make it. Oh, okay. I I'll roll to see if it gets the nat 20, and even if it gets a nat 20, it get it doesn't get a plus to the roll, so. <laughs> okay. All right. So then now they're both going to be taking 20, 20 damage. damage. <laughs> uh, that one, yeah, both of them are dead. You just like crush oh, them yeah. into a paste, or like a, a not even a paste, a powder. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and I will be down here then. Sweet. Nice, 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 nice. Noise, noise, noise. Um, I think that's all I can do. Yeah. Oh, and then this is just a oh, this, this this fucking guy's getting tossed down <laughs> down the pit. <laughs> the crevasse. The, cr ah, the crevasse. Man, the pit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Gleed, because she got she got stumpy legs. Can't quite make it far enough to get into the into the fray, but she is going to run up. 20 feet. Uh, let's take it back so I can still see them on the map. Okay, so 15 feet. And she's shooting the pistol at the confusing skeleton. Um, and she'll try and get close enough to bring, bring out the, the swords afterwards. Okay. And then uh, 
five feet of me, if I hit, I get sneak attack. Or uh, within five feet of the enemy. Yeah. So, yeah, Freedom's right there. If, if, if I hit, is the question. 12 does not hit. Cool. Uh, I'm also going to burn the inspiration, inspiration. and reroll. Yeah, <clears throat> Can't wait for this 11. Hey! That's a hit. All right. <laughs> Damage. We're doing a plus. Two D six, right? For a sneak attack? Yeah. Uh your level five, is it It might be three D six. Uh let me see, does it have the cable here? <laughs> level five, it is three D six now. Okay, awesome. Yeet. Twenty-two damage, this thing's done. Hey. And I will you. I will bow, uh, wink, wink at Rot Tooth and pass my turn. Was that with the pistol? Yeah. yeah. Those lessons are paying off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't luck at all. It was absolutely the lessons. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Not only is, hey, listen, not only is Galid a licensed firearm owner, <laughs> but there's a scope on that bad boy now, too. There's a scope. I can see <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the South Skeleton. Uh, rushes at Rot Tooth with a bit of a drawl. Instead of just like a groan, it's just like, yo. Oh, you nice. from the South too? <laughs> nice. That's funny because I was thinking about something for a. For this, my secondary character. That nice, nice southern southern gentleman drawl. <laughs> Yosemite, like, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. A, a, a dwarf, a dwarf artificer, like gunsmith named Yosemite. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty good, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Lady Frida. Yes. <laughs> I shall do things. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. I'm just looking at all the dice presets. There's so <laughs> many. Oh my, it's really hard to decide. Okay, um... Well, these two fellows are here. I've been left alone. Rock tooth had to go. What is this? Oh, that's okay. What do I wanna do with you? What was I doing last time that was awesome and working out really well? I was like, was, was I like throwing, throwing frying pans? But then you also were using your like, <laughs> Oh yeah, I couldn't remember if I was like doing a little stabby stabby. Did I do some stabbing? Maybe not. Whatever. Let's throw a frying pan at this guy. Okay. Who is this? What is this? What's this young man's name? The teeny skeleton? Nah, we're gonna do cautious skeleton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw a frying pan at cautious skeleton. If I can pull up, pull up my thing. And I need to find my frying pan. There it is. Did I roll? Did I do it? Freaking thing. Hmm? Do it! <laughs> did I... Did I roll so many times? Sorry. Did we... My mouse is weird, man. I don't know. We made the frying pan a weapon. It should have an... It should say attack under it in the chat. Does it say attack it... for you? Yeah, it does. It does, it does. I just didn't, uh... Know that I had clicked upon it. I need to... Okay, anyway. Attack! Take this! You silly little bee. You silly little biatch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember biatch? You guys remember when you we Frida's, said biatch? Fr Frida's bringing biatch back. I'm <laughs> bringing it back. Um, you, you. hit cautious. I'm not a thing anymore. I just said that like two weeks ago. 
<laughs> uh, you hit this cautious skeleton with your frying pan. Uh, go ahead and roll some damage. Okay. Oh, shoot. Nope. Wrong mouse. I've got too many mice. Too many mouses. Damage. Okay. You hear that click? You know, the click lets me know it's working. Six damage on this skeleton. Nice. Just a casual frying pan to the face. Yeah. I hope you have a concussion. Yeah, you want. I mean, it's cast iron, right? Or like, 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 yeah. the, like, you swing it, and like, as soon as you make contact, you watch as this big crack just like ripples through its skull. Like, it's still held together, but like, it doesn't look like it'll take much to knock it, you know, apart, like break it apart. Yeah, you're gonna need to get a band aid for that, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about getting it enchanted so it would return. <gasps> Oh, that's right. Also, I just remembered I get two actions now. Or two oh, attacks. Two attacks, yeah. You two have attacks. the extra attack. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back up to the one of many that I... Oh, no, I have to do it all Dude. again. No. Frick. There are so many things on the table right now. <laughs> this okay. sounds like a kitty. <laughs> it's because my shoes are there. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Dude, I, you, you, I mean, you can't friend. be up there, but I understand why you're there. I know, right? That's an like, awkward conversation right now. Is what that sounds like. You're like, whoa, wait a second. You can't be up there. That's where my shoes are. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, priorities. <laughs> like, 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 listen, I can sit where I like. You can't tell me otherwise. If there's one thing about me, I'm going to sit wherever I like. Hey, King Nerd, who's playing OU tonight? I don't know who's playing OU tonight. I know that oh. Zoo managed to wipe um, Tennessee today. Uh, God damn They were right. only Tennessee was favored by two and a half points, and Mizzou. Okay. It's the West Virginia Mountaineers tonight. Okay. Oh, Rita, give us I another wondered. attack roll. I thought for sure. Okay, I'm doing it now. I'm going. Wait, hold on. Where's my frying pan? I did it. Am I gonna have to keep track of such things? Going no, forward. I don't actually care because I don't really like football. <laughs> I, don't really <laughs> <but> care. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought you would know, and I care if you care. You know what I mean? Like, if it was, if they, if Mizzou was still in the Big Twelve, I probably would know. Yeah, course, yeah. I say uh, that, but I don't know who the rest of the SEC. Is okay, playing, so. we can't talk about football anymore. Did you see what just happened to my role? Yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> you forgot to clean it properly. So. <laughs> Never mind. You well, swing the second time with the frying pan, and this time it's ready for it, and like puts its hand up and just catches it. <laughs> it's like no thanks, actually, I'm good. I, I was, I was afraid. Away. You were Sorry. Uh, about to speak a musical episode of the Cleaning Crew into the future. <laughs> yes, let's do it, please. Uh, Cursed okay. by a demon to sing. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, that you sounds delightful. You have to sing everything you do the entire game. <laughs> it's not much different than what I do in real life. That's fair. Okay. It'd just be the rest of the crew that has to sing along now. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, you silly little bitch. I guess I'll hold on to my skillet for now. <laughs> <laughs> Clownish skeleton uh, is going to <laughs> leave rot to the to the. Un pss, 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 pss. Get down! Where's my gun? Whoa! He <laughs> just shoots. His we're hat. we're, we're like, escalating. Uh, okay. so oh fast. <laughs> you good? We're good. We're good. Give give you give your lady friend the gun. Yeah, put her in charge of. Yeah. She yeah. Needs... yeah. <laughs> no, no, no one has the gun. That's the better option. No one has the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's filled with water for the people at home. Okay. <laughs> not not like pulling out a pistol then fucking pointing it at my cat like fucking you want to do this? <laughs> fucking Mexican standoff in my fucking living room. I mean, you know, 
Sometimes that is the only option. <laughs> yeah. Um, Clownish is going to move forward uh, and is going to join its uh, compatriots oh, wow. in attacking Lady Frida. Wow. Rude. Okay. Whoa, shit. Shit's getting kind of heated up here, y'all. That's still a miss. Hell yeah. Yeah, but they're all straight up incompetent. Well, <laughs> look, I know I'm a sexy lady, fellas, but we're all gonna have to chill out a little bit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's the reason they're swinging at you, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the top of the round, that like black onyx, like kind of like stone, dark stone path that has been creeping behind you is like venom spider webbing itself forward and spreading around you as it builds the dungeon in, amid your combat, like as you're fighting. Like at one second you're stepping on grass and the next there's like stone underneath your feet. Sick. Cool. Oh boy. Um, teeny skeleton uh, is also coming for the Frida. Alright. They know so she has a thing for monsters. Oh. You know. Got sometimes. Daddy lights, <laughs> My calling card. <laughs> that's a nine. Or sorry, that's nine damage, rather. Oh, shit. Okay. As it just, like, pulls out its short sword, uh, short sword and, like, stabs you in a spot that shouldn't be solid. But you feel it. <laughs> Some cut me deep. Yeah. Cut me deep. <laughs> oh. uh, unimpeded oh ogre skeleton sees you, Rot Tooth, uh, and is actually going to try to grab you to do the same thing that you intend to do to it, and toss you Let's down the pit. Let's go, bro. Uh, so go ahead, and uh, it's going to be opposed athletics. The number to beat is a. 18? You tied. You tied on an 18. Oh my god. It just, it, like, it just, it can't, it can't quite get a grip on you. You're just too steadfast. Yeah, hey, dude. someone call the RWF. Get him out here. We got a match. <laughs> <laughs> I take my plate mail off. I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? You, you wrestle? No. Um, it's going to <laughs> risk an attack of opportunity to move out of the way. If it can't get you, it's not going to get got. Oh, it's about to get got. Athletics check, bro. Ooh. That is a nat one. Ooh, is that a one? You're That's going one. nowhere, friend. <laughs> You're going nowhere, you bro. You ain't going nowhere. I got you for three <laughs> minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> How, how big is this thing? Wow. Uh, it is large. It is a large creature. <laughs> he's oh, a beautiful. big boy. Even, doesn't even matter. So yeah, he's going over, bro. He's getting... Uh, he's getting pushed. I'm doing... Uh, yeah. How far can you push him? My movement. To the left, are you to going, the left. Are, are, are you going over with him? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll just shove him down the, the crevasse. The crevasse. <laughs> the crevasse. He will, he will be taking damage. So. Yeah, he's going to roll down. It's about like a 30-foot drop. Uh, so he's going to take 3d6. 6 damage. On, well, he's or it's every, damage. sorry, it's every 10 feet. Every 10 was, feet, yeah. Yeah, I was doing that. He's taking 18 from me. 18 from you and 12 from the fall. Oof. Nice 30 damage. Yeah. Where is this? Sturdy 30. Um, he... Not on my turn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to be here today. <laughs> Where the hell did he go on the map? Did I delete him? No, I did. You framed him. <laughs> You're like, he's done. <laughs> uh, okay, so he had 50 HP. How far down is this? It's like a 30, 30 35 feet? foot drop. 
Guys, should I people's elbow this mug? Should I just <laughs> jump from the top rope? Yeah. <laughs> just, like, elbow him? Why is that even a question? Fence? Yeah, oh. I was gonna say, it just sounds like a thing you would do. Alright, Obertus, I... you Jesus looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna swing again with the. the, uh. spiritual weapon. <laughs> um. What is that? Clownish? Okay. Clownish seems good. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Hey. Oh, we can get up here too. Let's see what we do. 15. 15 hits. Nice. Hold it up. It's 11 on Clownish. Yep. That takes it out. <laughs> That's such a fucking funny name. That's 11 on clownish. This boy <laughs> dumb as hell. Nah, they don't. <laughs> uh, is that a action? It is. Um, Sacred Flame on Teeny. Okay. Dex uh, save. Teeny makes a Dex save. And fails. Go ahead and roll your damage. Ten oh radiant. Oh. Done. Done. Excellent. Just deleted. Goddamn. All right. Are you going to lay there, darling? Feel free. There's plenty of room. Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> I'm doing the Lord's work. <gasps> no, 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 no. We can't exit. Stop. Huh? <laughs> You're going to be up here. You gotta be cool, man. No. <laughs> you gotta be cool. Cast then on be mission. cool. Be cool, man. Be cool. Uh, this cautious skeleton oh, hits God. you, Frida. Oh shit. Okay, let me get back and forge real quick. <laughs> yeah. And when you get back, you take four damage. Mother freaker, Twerto, this is your fault. Yep. Popping up on my desk, being all cute, freaking with shit. Rot teeth, you have <laughs> failed. You just you just folded this giant skeleton into the crevasse below. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was wearing shoulder pads, right? Like big shoulder pads. Yeah. 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 Like BRs are yeah, shoulder yeah. pads. You mean like nineties X Men shoulder pads? Uh -huh. By Rob, yeah. Rob Liefeld. Better. So Better. like how big are those? They're, they're pretty big. <laughs> Like you're, right. you're talking, they, like they look like like it, like, <laughs> like it, it'd be it's like big. trying to. If you're intending on wearing it, you probably couldn't because the shoulder pad itself is probably like the size of like a car a hood. Shield? So oh. like a shield then. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you just keep giving them shields. Down. Down. You know, I'm literally, I'm literally jumping, jumping off onto them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Onto yeah. those big yeah. ass spikes. Yep, that's a no. decision. No, onto onto his head, and then I will I will be retrieving the giant spike. Don't miss. Look, there's no way I'm gonna roll a one. <laughs> Don't miss. Okay. And now that I've said that, it's gonna happen. Oh, why is we're she doing <laughs> We're doing athletics checks. Oh my god. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a, it was a fifty. It's okay. Luckily, I have advantage. So. Nice. Oh no. Now here's now the thing. The drama you you still take the fall damage. The it just doesn't take yeah. that damage, right? So uh, <laughs> to start, you are going to take hilarious nine damage <laughs> as you okay. fall into the crevasse. And like you go to people, uh, people's elbow it, and like as it, it gets to the point where you're about to hit its face, it like reaches up and grabs you and like tosses you into the ground, beside That's it. Sick, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Um. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, well, I think that might be all that I can do then. Whack. <laughs> Rot Tooth, one thing you do notice is that as, like, you're down there now, you can see that a floor is being built above you of that <laughs> creeping stone. So that's, that's what I was worried about. Yeah. And that's exactly what is happening. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's all right. Okay. Well, I have to. Well, well, well. Galid. I would like to do a much smarter play. Okay. Um, <laughs> you shoot your gun. It's absolutely shoot my gun. Are you kidding? <laughs> I am moving up here. Uh, when I move there, I can't see. That's the only thing. I can't see the cautious skeleton. Um, okay. So I'm going to move up 15 feet. How far down is it off the side? Uh, is it just a step? 30, uh, like like the, the ogre skeleton? Uh, no, uh, me stepping off the bridge here, just to, just to the grass. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like level ground. Okay. Um, so I want to just hop over, it won't let me, uh, so I will do some readjustments here real quick, and I am here now. Uh, so I am shooting at the cautious button, and once again, as usual, we'll fucking see how that goes. Um, ooh, actually... No, I don't have the I don't have the movement to do it. Um, so yeah, we will shoot and hope for the best. Fingy's quest. It's the same thing as earlier. That's yeah, not a hit. Yeah, the miss. Just angrily, we're 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 offhand throwing a dagger as a bonus action. Just to hope to God something happens. That's a and natural uh, fucking twenty. That's what I need to do. Is I need to do more things with anger. Yeah. Um, okay, so we are critical plus three d six sneak attack. And it's a lot of color. A lot of one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you throw the dagger and you like hit that pivotal point where it just like falls to pieces yeah uh, there's like the one little like uh like bone holding it together yeah right and it's like shoulder blade area and i just that that goes flying out with the dagger the whole thing crumbles dagger appears right back at my side i'm like yeah i, I meant to do that and that's uh, it South Skeleton uh, knows nothing else but murder. So it's going <laughs> to run and uh, swing its sword at Lady Frida. No! I'm taking pictures of my cats! Stop it! Well, luckily Sorry. for you, it is a miss. No, okay, uh, that's I, fine. I, however, I you're also... gonna, <laughs> it's your turn next, so you're still gonna I, have to. I'm gonna. I'm engaged! I'm engaged! One of them just put his <laughs> paw on the other one's back, and it's just. They're both ones in my lap and ones on the desk and oh god. Okay. Cute. I know it's really cute. I have been trying to decide though. Am I ready to try to heal myself real quick or I'm still kind of surrounded? Bad. Not really. I'm not too bad. Thanks guys. <laughs> it's just this one dude. Sorry for burping in everybody's ears, excuse me. <laughs> just this one little old silly fella. He's just a little guy. Is this the one that stabbed me? Yeah, a couple times. Mother freaker. I'm gonna try and cleave his head off. Okay. Quit trying to stab me. <laughs> you freaking jerk head. Shoot. 
That's a hit. Take that, you dick ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. And uh, by that much, you take that. And I hope you die. Yep, or almost that also die, hits. At least. Ah, perfect. Roll some damage. That's what I meant to do. Damn it. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I but that's you were okay. Because I get both to do your attacks at once. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's so smart of me to do that that way. <laughs> uh, six. Yeah, this skeleton. You you swing your cleaver and just like chop its head right off its body. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guess I don't need to roll more damage because you are dead. Woo! Look though, babe, for reals. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> oh. So the it, the ogre skeleton was knocked out of the initiative. But we're gonna come down for a moment. We're going to kind of pause the combat. <laughs> Rot tooth, you okay. are down here with this ogre skeleton. <sighs> There is stone creeping above you, and you don't think that Saris is thinking about you or giving you an exit strategy right now. Okay. So you need Rude. to figure out, you've got probably about, we'll call it like a round worth. So you've got about six seconds, a round of something to figure out how to get yourself out of this situation. You're not in a great okay. place right now. Oh no. Okay. Gotcha. I mean, I'll jump. 35 feet? Yeah, dude. Um, for real, though? Let me see. My dice are wild. I can. Um, it's 35 feet. I can. I mean, with my athletics, I should be able to climb up this. And yeah. I do have uh, relentless endurance. Or not relentless endurance. That's not my it's the it's something that gives my bonus action I can use my movement again but yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna frantically climb up oh, okay so um yeah. uh, g give me like an athletics check for like climb okay and um the quickish ogre so this is going to be the one for climbing up you, you'll have no problem climbing up however you are still Ooh. leaving this ogre skeleton's threatened range and its response yeah. as an attack of opportunity is instead going to be trying to grab your leg to drag you back down with it so this is going to be another opposed athletics check um okay. but i need you to roll it at n oh ho, ho, ho. we both rolled nat 20s mine was a 27 to his 24. Uh, you need to beat the 24 for um, keeping him from grabbing you. That was the, the, the your, your nat 20 that you rolled was for, to successfully climb, climb up. Okay. That 35 foot. Okay. So he's holding on to my leg. Uh, it's, no, you go to climb up, and he like grabs onto your leg and like drags you back down. Okay, I'm gonna have to just bust through this floor then at some point. I think okay. is what's gonna okay. have to happen. Then we will move on to the next map. Oh, oh man, <laughs> dude. Lame. <laughs> okay, so I need to figure out where you were, because now you're under the ground. Oh my god. Part of the crew. It's gonna be part of the ship. It's gonna be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my boys you're so sweet you're so cute life is so complicated for you <laughs> <laughs> okay and Obertus, Frida and Galid and the light spells are we about to fall through too? No, so that like you guys are okay. fine. We didn't, we didn't make a terrible decision. Well, I didn't know if the terrible decision was going to also affect us. Like, 
the world was just gonna uh, open up and it kind of affects Galid. Galid is on like the outside and has to like kind of like crawl oh, around to get yeah. back inside now. Yeah, that's not a straight sidestep over. <laughs> Dang uh, it! I think I have glitter in my mouth. Ooh, yeah. Did you say glitter? Yeah. I thought I was the one with that charm. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> I just have a daily charm of glitter that I put on my face. I smear it on. Nice sure. little schmear. I do. I do a little schmear of glitter every day. It makes me happy. This is so interesting. Oh, God. I'm terrified. Honestly. Like, <laughs> only you, Rot Tooth, would get yourself stuck underground. Bro. So, uh, Rot Tooth is 35 feet underground. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Is there. Would there have been a way that I could use a reaction against that? Uh, what reaction would, would you have used? Like what? <clears throat> Grappling hook. <laughs> My grappling hook. Yeah. No, um... I don't... I don't... Like... Uh, reacting to him pulling me down? I, uh, I mean, I you, you, you rolled that athletics to react to him pulling you down. Yeah. Because that was your opposition to it, right? You just unfortunately rolled... So I do have two reactions per round now. Now that I have ever ready. Uh, okay, I'd give you, uh, like, uh, another chance to roll in athletics to beat a 24. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that means you need to get a, what, 17 or higher, 16 or higher on the roll? Okay. Ugh, oh, it did it again! Oh my <laughs> god! The first time it almost rolled a 17, and this time it almost rolled a 19. <laughs> Damn. Poopy butts. Uh, Poopy. Sorry, okay, uh, Rock Tooth, what was your initiative at? 11? <laughs> it was one above mine. 12. 12? And then Galid was an 11? Yep. And Obertus was a 13, and then Frida, what were you? I think I was like 8. Go. Let's roll these guys, and then we'll show you what's happening here. Oh no! Hey, it's got a little. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, well, rot this tooth. Looks badass. Yeah. <laughs> Currently, you are situated under the ground. Um, it is solid stone uh, above you. Uh, that is, like, still, like, kind of, like, hot and fresh and forming in the way that maybe you think you could probably, like, if you, on your next turn, if you roll well enough, could possibly bust your way through. But you're basically losing your first turn to trying to, like, dig through the ground to get to that upper level. Um, okay. Frida, uh, uh, Galid, where you are standing, uh, like, a wall kind of, like, crawls and grows up in front of you. And you find yourself in kind of, like, a just corner... Um, but you do see, like, there's the chain for the bridge behind you so that you could, like, climb over back onto the bridge. Um, okay. Lady Frida and Obertus, you have the most direct view of what's happening as the chamber in front where you saw that there was kind of, like, the broken statue and kind of, uh, like, broken fountain gets swallowed up by the stone and grows. You watch as the fountain, like, stone moves and shifts into the center in front of the bridge and becomes this beautiful, um, a beautiful fountain with, like, three dragon heads that are shooting water out, um, and it has, like, this purple torchlight on top that is emitting light out into that chamber. Um, at the door, as the walls finally come up and create the entryway for the dungeon, um, you see 
two more large ogre skeletons come uh, uh, barreling in behind the fountain. Behind them are two large minotaur skeletons. Fucking... Bro! I can't wait to pop out of the ground and eat that. And situated in the center of them is what appears to be a skeleton riding a skeletal horse. Shit. And it appears that they're fused at the skeleton's hip to the horse itself. It looks like they are just like one fused entity. Safety first. Fun of this guy for not having a PC. <laughs> As, uh, initiatives have been rolled. Um, we'll begin at the start of the combat. Um, with you hear from behind you, and Obertus, you kind of hear Saris's voice in your head say, "How about a little bit of help?" Ooh. Um, you hear the sound of metal hitting the ground as if something bound in armor was running. Okay. Uh, sorry. I look around. You don't see anything just yet. Okay. Have my light sources been overtaken or nope. thrown over? No, uh, your light sources are still there and they're emitting light, but now there is like all these walls that are closed off that are like, whatever is coming, you just can't see it around the corner yet. Uh-huh. Uh, but something is on the move. <laughs> uh, the cloistered Rudalian Minotaur Skeleton... can't see shit. Uh, it can move 40 feet, so it's going to kind of like bound over the fountain. And you watch as this thing comes up and brings its great axe down on you, Frida. Uh, sorry, Hold no. Phone. Uh, it's actually going to try and gore you. It's trying to gore me? It's trying to gore you. What the hell does that mean? It's going to put its horns <laughs> inside of your body. Yeah. I mean, given... The right no, circumstances. No, no. I just know. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're a good person, so it's just. Gonna, yeah. Uh, Consent is key here, though, fellas. So, uh, okay. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, I knew where a, that was going, but a, I hated it from the moment you started. A twenty hits. Yeah, it does. Shit, I should have hit. <laughs> um as yes it like grabs Frida um with a clawed back and like just like stabs through her chest with its horn. Take me to dinner first, am I right? I mean come on. <laughs> come on. Uh so Frida, that is 13 piercing damage on the initial attack, and then you get an additional Ooh. 2d8 from the charge. Oh, I'm so down. I'm a I am quite unconscious now, so I believe. It's 20 damage total. Yeah, goodbye. Sweet world. Oof. Uh, I'll just be. Lady Frida here. is unconscious. Have we been returned to the. Jesus Christ, throne? dude. No, you haven't. The, the, the combat. Like, so, like. The last of the dungeon grew around you as you were fighting the, the, the other skeletons. Okay. Uh, I think there's duplicates of our tokens in the throne room. Are there? Ah, uh, I see. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, th I think that's the only thing it can do, though. I see. Oh, no. Man. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it's three attacks. So it gets a gore attack. It'll get another attack. This time with a great axe. Um, so, like, Lady Frida is on this Rudalian cool. skeleton's <laughs> horn. Um, it's going to move forward. This weird me like a little ornament, a little uh, hood ornament. And it's going to swing its great axe at you, Obertus. <laughs> Here we go. Shit's brutal. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oof. So that's 17 damage on its first attack there. Uh, and the last attack it can make is with its hoof. 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 There it is. Wow. And that is a natural 20. Well, that's well, two so far. We're fucked, everybody. Oh my god. For that another so about these 28 damage. New characters for their guild. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh that's my what god. he really meant about tonight's adventure. It's like, oh, by yeah. the way. I, I didn't think I was going to crit this hard. <laughs> but yeah, 17 damage and then 28 damage. Oh, as it, Jesus like, swings Christ. and, like, brings a great axe across your chest and then follows up by, like, kicking you in the chest with its hoof. You said 17 and 28? 17 and 28. Um, and you feel, like, you, you can feel, like, parts of your, um, chest plate, like, your chest, like, chest bone under your armor crack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oof. As I spit blood. Yeah. Uh, Unshakable Rudalian Minotaur Skeleton. Oh, good. Uh, can't get past its compatriot here, so it can't get at you right now, which is kind of the only saving grace, is that you're kind of in the hallway there. Yeah. Um, the Skeleton Rider. Riders on the storm. Little poopy little. Uh, doesn't need to do that right now. It's just gonna kind of sit there and chill. It'll, like, move up. But as it waits for the other, uh, skeletons to kind of shove their way in, it'll just kind of sit and lie in wait and watch as things unfold. Uh, Obertus, that's your turn. You feel, like, this heavy ache in your chest after getting that fucking hoof kick from this thing. Um, and, like, along with, like, this, like, bleeding gash <laughs> from the, uh from the great axe um you're feeling pretty hurt are you down yes oh god <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. 17 and 28 uh. is 45 and i had 43 <laughs> ah ow ow there's both your healers good luck fellas rot Fella tooth and gal indeed. yeah um do I regret my actions? Sort of. <laughs> oh. 100%? Only slightly. So, ro oh, Rot Tooth, here's what I want from you. Okay. So much. You are trying to climb up. The Ogre Skeleton is still down there with you. Like that first one. So now the idea is that you're trying to, like, escape it and get through the ground before it solidifies and the thing can, you know, like, you're either trapped down with it or you're going to get out here. The athletics check is going to be decently high um, because okay. you're trying to get away from this ogre skeleton at the same time as you're trying to get out of the ground. I'm going to set the DC at a 25. Okay. That's really high. That is fairly high. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um... Whew. Yeah, I, I don't do it. <clears throat> I don't do it. It just, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'd like to roll to see if I could somehow penetrate his brain from beyond the veil. Do you have move your ass, Rot Tooth? Do you have an inspiration? Oh shit! Hold on. Do I? I don't know. Where do I go? On your character sheet, there should be uh, a d20 right to the top I right don't. of the uh, portrait. I don't. I yeah. think I already used it. Once you, once you, like, go down, the inspiration and exhaustion go away. No, your inspiration doesn't no. go away when, you, when you're down. No, on, the char on the character sheet, it does. You, you can't see it. Oh, um... Oh, I see what you Oh. oh, okay, cool. I thought maybe that just meant I used it. <laughs> no, you would still see the d20. It would just be uh, whether it's glowing or not. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, that means you, you, you probably used it. Yeah. Can I just okay. punch the fuck out of this floor? I mean, can I attack the ground? Um... Well, it, 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 attacking the ground isn't the issue. The issue right now is that you're contending with trying to get up and smash through the ground while also dealing with this ogre skeleton on the ground that is trying to Doesn't want keep you, you there. there. Okay. I, I'm gonna. Can I flip my coin at this thing? Can I? I'm gonna attack this skeleton at the very least. Though. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think that is the move. Just take it out. Riders so that almost. Way. Oh god. It's all the time. Yeah. Um You have How do you flip your coin? You have two options here, Rod Dude. Okay. You could forego trying to get out of the ground for taking out this ogre skeleton that's keeping you down. Because if, if you take that out first, then yeah. that'll make it easier for trying to get out. You're just going to have to get through harder stone. So basically how it'll work is you can you i'll give you another athletics check now to try and take out the ogre skeleton but if you do then you're going to have to basically that's your turn and next turn the dc is going to go up by one okay out oh, for breaking out gotcha but i mean that's the only thing i can do right now is attack this thing yeah Not try to get to the floor again okay <clears throat> well i mean i'm gonna have to do that i do have the bone crusher shield so i'm gonna Oh, oh wait. wait, I'm just gonna athletic check this fucking asshole anyway. Okay. I'll use honest ogre skeleton for the roll. Oh my god. It's like almost rolled so good so many times and then it just rolls back to two. So the okay. ogre skeleton, you cool. still beat it. Um and so to kill it you need to do twenty damage. Oh. <clears throat> okay. How oh, actually? How no. thick is this floor? At present, the, like like the well, not the floor, but the ceiling, I guess, at this point for you, right? That you're trying to right. break through. Yeah. Um, uh. you'd surmise that right now, as it's like formed and like starting to harden, it's probably like twenty feet thick. Okay. There's nothing that is five feet in this whole game. Um. Okay. Well then, I put thick, that's like a door. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, or well, not not a door. That'd be like a square. Yeah. I forgot. If I'm putting it through into something, it just creates nothing but dirt. Okay. Um. You know what? That, that, that I'm probably I'm probably over exaggerating the the thickness. For a castle floor, you're still probably only gonna have it at like about ten feet. Yeah. Of thickness, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's all right. It's. I was just wondering. It it doesn't really matter unless it's like five feet, then I can smash somebody through it. But yeah. Well, in this case, it, um... you wouldn't be able to smash it through it. Like, you're trying to smash it yeah. into, like, the ceiling back up from the ground, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Here we go. It's possible. 22. 22 damage? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, like, smash your shield into the skeleton and just, like, shatter it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Its cool. bones kind of like rain and splinters as its armor, like that was on it, just like falls around it. I'm really nice. just. Rodtooth is really just annoying. It's just like. And he's gonna be even more annoyed when he sees that there are two more of these things that he could get. <laughs> like, dang it. Okay, cool. So that guy's taken care of. Um. Rodtooth, you hear. 
a voice inside your head say, uh, Oh, terribly sorry, I didn't know you were down there. Yeah. Because realistically, yeah. why why would you be? I'm I'm definitely down here. Um, can I actually can I use my adrenaline rush for my uh, a dash action to try and get through the floor? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. go, go ahead can... and roll an athletics check again to get through the ground. Um, Saris, knowing that you're down here, is going to try and um lower the density of that spot. So the DC will be 20. Okay, so sorry, everybody. Wow. Oh, just rolling. It's fine. You guys are just going to have to do this without me. <laughs> <laughs> and by you guys, he means yeah. Yeah. Galeed. It's going to have to. Galeed, yeah. Just Galeed. Yeah. Just her by herself. Yeah. Rot to you. No, no, no one else. Rot Teeth is going to have to uh, attempt next turn. Galeed, it's just you. You don't even know what's happening right now. You're on the other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah, I've got no clue. And you said that there was a way up, like there's a chain up to the yeah, bridge. Yeah, so like, so where the bridge, like you can see, um, like the bridge itself, so that you can still have a view of the pond. Saris decided to just have it as like a uh -huh. chain rope for each side of the bridge. Um, gotcha. But otherwise, like yeah, like you could just like hop over it. All right, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just pull myself up and like slide over. Uh, it won't let me. Thank you. Um, and immediately, like I pull over, and I'm like, "You guys ready? Oh, this yeah. is gonna be so." <laughs> you see, like this horror scene, like this minotaur that is like hunched over Obertus, um, has um, Lady Frida on its horn. Um, and is, like, raising its axe to, like, like do, like, a finishing blow on, uh, Obertus. Yeah, Jesus. Uh. Time to channel John Wick. No kidding. Right, yeah. I need more guns for that. <laughs> um. Shopping list on the next episode. Yeah, just Ooh, all. Bye. Oops, all good. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my thing is like, even if I force a healing potion down your throat, it's all of their turns before it gets back to you to do anything. Why don't you just distract him? You know, the most. You know, maybe keep him from doing the coup de gras. It's about probably all you yeah. can. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't, yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the only thing that I can do, looking at the features and all that fun stuff, um... Yeah, the only thing I can think of doing is just kind of shooting at it. I, if I'm here with it, like, I, I'm dead. So, like, shooting and rowing. Which, I don't know, maybe that's enough to just get its attention away from you and see that there is a living target. So, that's that's what we'll do. Um, it's You're gonna not, sh shoot and run? Yeah, it's not a good plan, but it's it, the plan. The World of right. Warcraft Rangers just kite the damn thing. Hey, that's yeah. true. Oh, Veritas, I have a question. <laughs> yes, if, sir. If you go on a, unconscious, do your lights go out? Are, are they concentration? Yeah. Oh no, those are. Oh no, those should be permanent. They're. Oh, it's. They last an hour. They just last an hour. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I You're like. You meant... <laughs> I. Ca I thought that. That's what he meant as well. To I was like, do you have, like, a lighting situation to accommodate this? This is great. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not concentration. 
Oh, I'm trying to delay it. Okay, we're doing it. <gasps> How's that? How's Red. That? that looks cool. For blood. Do purple, do purple. 18 hits. Yeah, I actually do have it pre programmed. I have some colors programmed. Okay. <laughs> go, Gilly, go. Go, Gilly, go. Okay, so the only thing I can hope for is that maybe with sneak attack, I am able to do something. Um. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even get sneak attack actually. No, because there's no ally within five feet, and it <laughs> also hasn't has another. It has an ally within five feet, so I don't even get sneak attack. This is just base damage, and that's it. Which is one, four. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I got. Uh, I will. Um, shit. Um. I will just run um, 20 feet. Smart. And. <laughs> but do I bonus action and try to throw a dagger? Or do I use my bonus action to just dash and keep fucking going? That's the question. Oh. Where are you? Huh. I'm just like 30 feet north of your dead well, Oberis's yeah. dead body um, my thing is I don't know I don't know how far it can go what a strange move yeah yeah, I don't know if it can reach me right now and if it does so I, I'm gonna dash um, just take the rest of my movement and run down to the west and... of you, you see um, this, like, armored figure, like, moving towards you, but when y it sees you, it doesn't look apprehensive. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't know anything about this, but I'm just like, yeah, I just look at it and I'm just like, are we, are we cool? <laughs> it kind of, like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't move towards you. Um, it kind of like gives like a little nod, and you notice that its armor kind of looks similar to Obertus's armor, but oh, with a okay. little bit like of like kind of intricacy to it. Okay, just real ornate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I do. I'm just like we cool, and then that's that's what I have, unfortunately, which is not a whole lot. You're alive. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a lot at this point. <laughs> yeah. The, the question is for how long, I guess. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh, lasting Ogre Skeleton. Yeah. Uh, it's going to move over here, but uh, there's not much else it can do. The uh, toothpaste tube is a little clogged. Yeah. Uh, Lady yeah. Frida, can you go ahead and... Uh, Put it. Put your role from public role to private role, mm -hmm. and uh, go ahead and give me your um, death save. Yes. Do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. We'll move it on. Honest Ogre Skeleton, same problem. It's just going to kind of like go over here and wait for its turn in line. Uh, the animated armor, which we can reveal now. It's shapely, too. Nice. Uh, it like skids in front of you, Galid, as it like it was running towards you, but again, didn't look like it was running to like chase you kind of thing. Uh, and like, like starts moving down this way. And it's actually going to use like an action to dash up here and get in the way. 
Obertus, do you feel like we're kind of like helping protect them in the only way we know how with our dead bodies? <laughs> with our almost dead bodies? <laughs> we're just like, human shield! <laughs> human, uh, non-human shield! The skeleton's moving in. Once again, like, it steps over Obertus's body now because this thing's just come up in front of it. Um, but Lady Frida, you're still attached to its horn, so you're moving with this thing. Oh shit, that's right, I forgot. I'm just jiggling around on a horn. Oh my goodness. It's... Shit, bro. It's like this when it's so rough. I know. Bad hair just rolls like a fucking monster. <laughs> These charms are cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It, it, <laughs> cool. Cool. Galeed, it's like an absolute horror it. scene. As, like, this, like, big armor... Oh, Galeed's, oh, Galeed's gone. So... Oh. oh, no, here we go. Okay. We go. <laughs> this is so good. I can't wait for this. What a perfect time for you to sit back down! Galeed, oh no, I'm so scared. This is an absolute horror scene. As this, like, armor runs up and you're like, whoa, you cool? And it's just kind of like, eh, and then starts running down. You watch as it runs towards the uh, Minotaur skeleton, and the Minotaur skeleton, like, raises its great axe up and, like, smashes it once, and then, like, smashes it to pieces. Fuck. <laughs> uh, oh no. That was yeah. our only hope. Maybe. I mean, <sighs> shit. Meanwhile, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just buried underground, like, hey guys. Like a dummy. Unshakable. <laughs> He's going to step over your corpse. Skeleton Rider. Skeleton Rider is like looking very pleased with itself as it's just kind of like just starts like doing laps around the fountain. Wow. What a dick. Uh, Obertus, go ahead and put yourself on private GM roll or private roll <laughs> and uh, give me your. Uh... Stop it. So I forgot about something that's on my character sheet um, because I hadn't had a need to use it until now. Thank so, uh, my Shroud of the Unburied um, wraps itself around me and grants me 25 temporary hit points. Oh, shit! As I cough Great. blood up all over it. Cool. I forgot I don't know how the you... Shroud of the Unburied. How do I denote that it's temporary? Uh, so underneath your character, like if you bring that back down to zero, you'll see underneath you should see temp. If you put uh -huh. that to 25, then it should count that as separate. Okay. Oh, I see. You can just type it in there. Got it. Okay. I'm learning. Okay. Yeah. As the shroud wraps around you and brings you back. So the... So the skeletons have moved beyond me? They're, like, behind me? Yeah. Now, where did the big armored dude go? Do I see him as I sit up? Uh, you, you don't see any... No, the armored dude is gone. The armored, you see, like, little bits of armor that have been smashed and pummeled into the ground behind you. Oh, so the armored guy's the one that got... Yeah. Clobbered. Ah, okay. Weird. <laughs> okay. Um, so Lady Frida is on the. Is is she still on the skeleton? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like gored on the 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 Minotaur's horn.
Is she within 30 feet? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, she's at 35 feet. You would have to, like, move up one. Damn that horned devil. You gonna spare the dying? Yep. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Since Thank I can you. do that at range. Thank you, Papa! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> <laughs> it says I'm incapacitated. It works. Uh, so, Lady Frida, you're no longer making death saves. Hell yeah. Thank you, Albertus. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. I'm just not that. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, it wouldn't let me do anything because I'll, although I had 25 hit, temporary hit points, the system considered me incapacitated, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me like throw in the chat thing. So mm. I just gave myself uh, one hit point for the moment and 24 temp, and now uh, we'll just, you know, we'll just we know that that's 25 temp right now. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so the hammer or my spiritual weapon would have gone away. Yeah. Um, yep. uh, uh. Spare the dying in action. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. Okay, goody. All right, then we're going to do this. I'm going to turn around and blast this guy that just, like, is just in front of me in the back with Guiding Bolt. Oh, thank you. That's a hit. I'm hoping that hits. I guess I'm going to get his damage. attention. Phew. Look at that little tick of... Little, look at that little tick. Yay. Damn, where's Rot, where's Rot Tooth when you need him? <laughs> yeah, your tank just kind of dipped. Like, where is he? Yeah, is he? you kind of did. You did. Uh, well... You, you impulsively made a decision... That was worse for everyone else. Oh my god, dude. That's a whole lot of... Okay, well. I, uh, for Lady Frida, I hope that helps. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Obertus, thank you so much. Right, do tooth. Do. So, Saris is aware that you're down there. The DC to get through the stone now is 20. Twenty six does it. Bam. And you're you're muted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know. So you make your way like like as you're like so to help you, Saris like raises the, the stone under your feet and like lifts you up so that you can like smash your way through. Uh, I'm not going to expend your movement for this. I will give you like your movement and action and everything as normal. Um, sorry, I, I will give you your, 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 your movement and everything as normal, but you expended your action digging through the ground. Cool. Okay, then I will get to moving. I'm going to go this way. Boot. Uh, honest Ogre then... takes a swing at you. <clears throat> okay. And misses. Well, okay. Uh, so cocky, even though Hey! Hey! I don't know. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my Adrenaline Rush so that I can use the dash action to do another 30 feet. But I'm just gonna do the 20. O Obertus looks like the dude from fucking Doom Patrol 
Larry with the like wraps around him right now. Like his cloak is like fully like wrapped him up. <laughs> cool. Like a cool cloak, man. Uh, and then yeah, that's I've done my movement. I do not have an action. But Dow, in my turn. Uh, Galid. I can I see any of this through like past the Minotaur skeleton? Yeah. Do I know that Obertus is up and Rot Tooth is coming through? Yeah. Um, okay. That is a shining light in an otherwise absolute dog shit situation. <laughs> um, I, did all that for the I did all that for the drama, so you're welcome. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know. These charms don't do me any good. Yeah, you um, got you got kind of situational charms. Very situational, yeah. And specifically, the one thing that being command specifically has no effect. Of yeah. Sick. Um, okay, I am not getting close. Uh, not with these things. So I'm gonna take another shot with the pistol, and we'll see we'll see how we how we go from there. Um, would I be able to shoot the uh, which one is it? The unshakable? Could I shoot it, or would the cloister? What? You cut out after you said cloistered. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Could I shoot the unshakable skeleton, or is the cloistered one in the way? Uh, I would give you that you could shoot the unshakable one. Okay. Um, but its AC would be a bit higher because of, like, half cover. Gotcha. Shit. Okay. Um, alright, I'm just gonna shoot at the cloistered with normal attack. Uh, the 19 hit. 19 definitely hits. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and do my damage. Nice. That's max damage. Hey, Let's ma go. Max damage. Nice. And I'm going to... Uh, how far... Could I get a sense of their movement whenever they move turn? Do you, I think they can make it to me? Yes. Okay. Then... Bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and throw a dagger, and then I'm going to try and dip back, backwards further into the, into the dungeon. Nope. I don't do it, and then I would like to run 5, 20, and end my turn. Okay. You get back into the throne room area where now there are these beautiful purple lights from these torches that line up to the throne. And at the head of the throne looks to be a statue with a, a sword and a shield and a very similar looking hair and facial hair structure that very much resembles Obertus. Along with the vase of flowers that he set in front of the throne um, with the flowers still inside. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Peyton's face is frozen in such a funny way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lasting ogre skeleton watches as like rot tooth runs by just like what? 
uh, is <laughs> going to run and uh, runs uh, just to see Obertus there. Uh, it's going to swing at you, Obertus, with its great club. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, I don't like anything about that. <laughs> it didn't crit. It does hit for 19 of that of 25 of your points. <laughs> um, it also takes 2d12 2D necrotic damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as you like degrade some of its bones. Um, Lady Frida, you're stable, but you're uh, like not making saves anymore. So you're just kind of like unconscious, hanging out on this skeleton's horn. Hey. Um, the honest ogre skeleton. Uh is just again behind its friend here it's not going to be able to do much um we're going to get so at the top of the order uh, a new animated armor spawns so we're going to roll that into the initiative and uh, at this point like kind of like ha at the top of the third round here why don't we take a break five minute break sounds good okay yeah <laughs> Uh, good good news to break up this uh, terrible, horrible travesty that's going on. I pulled a Bill the Pony in my uh, Lord of the Rings magic set. Nice. Nice. You, so I, got, I got a holographic Bill the Pony. That's awesome. Nice. We're fucking, I think we're fucking dead, y'all. I, I, I don't know. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not dead. I, I mean, yes, you are correct. Right now, we are not You're dead. not dead yet. Yeah. At this specific moment, we are not. <laughs> live, live every moment of your life. Please. <laughs> you know, you're not all dead. Ten, right all ten remaining seconds of it. Yeah. Little Sweetums McGee over there. Well, I can always pop the Sword of Sacrifice as a final action. Wait, what the fuck is that? That's the sword that I made out of the unicorn horn. Yeah, I don't remember what it. What does it do? Uh, basically, it becomes a dancing sword for a little for a short time if I choose to sacrifice my life to it. Oh, it, it it'll become a sword of dancing for a little while. I don't think not. that's worth it at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I'm a bridge right now, I think if right? I'm like, if it's like one of those situations where I'm like rolling death saves. Yeah. And that final d and I'm going to like the final death save is going to kill me. But that would be the moment to do it. Cause yeah, because it's, it's like might as well. Right. But that is it. That is the only moment that I think that. Well, luckily, I have, like, a fucking sick healing potion I can use real quick before. Activate. Yeah. Activate Sword of Nuking. Pack to him. It's like, uh, so in this, uh, in this game that we, we played before, it's a, it's a role-playing game, but instead of dice, you use a Jenga tower. It's called Dread. Um, it's like fundamentally kind of like survival horror the themed, but um, you can choose to, in the moment in the story, you can choose to just knock over the Jenga tower and sacrifice yourself. Um, and you get like a last stand. Essentially, you narrate what you do in your final moments. 
but you are sacrificing yourself to make some sort of hopeful, hopefully, benefit to the rest of the group. So there's never any guarantee that it's going to work, is there? Obertus 
If there was ever a time to pray to Kalimvor. Yes, Lord. Oh. <laughs> yes, Lord! <laughs> yes, Satan. Satan? What a... Yes, Satan. I didn't... I, I mean... Oh, I thought you... I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were someone else. I knew this combat was going to be a rough one, but I didn't expect Rottooth to toss himself into a hole right before it started. No one did. No one did. <laughs> I was actually, if he wasn't able to make it, I was thinking about possibly as an option. Right away. Well, well that was always an option. Retreat. Um, um, but possibly trying to see if I could stop the the dungeon if taking the the gym with Saris would either my goal was for it to either start to revert enough to let him out or if not that just keep it in place so it didn't solidify yeah um and then going from there happy that wasn't necessary but also God damn, what a predi what a predicament. Y'all thought it was gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Instead it proved to be difficult, difficult, lemon <laughs> difficult. I think the nice thing now is that you have Rot Teeth back up. It is literally the only redeeming character. Quite, quite literally, yeah. Yeah, otherwise, uh, Gleed was making a run for it. Yeah. Hopping back over that bridge and seeing where the water takes me. <laughs> well, we've had a serious talk, you guys. <laughs> about about <laughs> jump, jumping into crevasses going yeah. forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where the stroopwafels? Stroopwafels? I don't know how you say that. Stroopwafel? Stripper waffles? Stripper waffles? Stripper waffles, hey. That's different. Those for strudels? I do like, oh, thank you. I do like toaster strudels. And, you know, if. Stripper, if stripper wants to show her waffle in the right state where she can't go to prison, then good for her. You know? Yes. That's really what it's all about. Fired or have to resign from the teaching job. Right, exactly. Marceline, darling, could you please exit the office, away from the cat? Is the Marcy, sweet baby? What? What's the? Is that the dog? Is that a dog? Marceline. Yeah. What? What's the dog's name? Marceline. Marceline. Marcy. Marceline. Marceline. What is the dog named after? Uh, the vampire queen. Um. But her middle name is Leslie Nope. So she's <laughs> named after the Vampire Queen from uh, Adventure Time. And because of her tenacity for surviving, Leslie Nope was her middle name. Her name is Marceline Leslie Nope. Yeah. yeah. Marceline that, Leslie Nope Eubanks. Eubanks, <laughs> yeah. As a weird thing, um, I, our rival high school, whenever I was growing up, in North Missouri, our rival high school was Marceline, the home of Walt Disney. Interesting. Oh, interesting. 
and I was like, wait, Marceline? Like, uh, and I had, I think I remember, I like, I'm, I've never watched Adventure Time. I guess I'm not that. I can't, you know, my nerd cred only goes so far. But uh, probably one of those things I need to watch. And I think I've read at some point, sometimes somewhere that there was a character named Marceline on that show. I think you would like it. Like, I'm aware of it. Yeah. I mean, just well, I mean, it was a kid's cartoon, so... Just because you know. of Google at some point? Yeah. But yeah. Time, I mean, you know. if, you're, if you're just looking for, like, something mindless to, like... Like, I watch Adventure Time in the background while I'm working just so I have something to, like, stimulate my brain. Because, like, there's no... Th there is an underlying story, but especially, like, in early Adventure Time, there's really not. It's just, like... It's just yeah. mindless fun. Yeah. yeah. The Group first like two, two or three seasons are just like a lot of fun with this like through line where there's only like a couple episodes. But what's really funny is if you like hardcore pay attention, there's weird little things that they always harken back. Like essentially there's a whole season of that show that isn't real. <clears throat> like it doesn't actually happen, which is really fun. All right. Okay. Back at the top of the order. Back to the death. The cloistered Rudalian Minotaur skeleton, still with uh, Lady Frida, like, just, like, splayed on its horn, um, yeah. is going to, it's still chasing uh, as it moves forward, trying to find Galeed. Tried you might. Well. So I'm unconscious. You're but unconscious. But I'm not dead. Correct. And you're not rolling death saves, but nobody, like, got you off of the horn. It's kind of, you're in a precarious spot right now. So you're not technically dying, but you're also still this, like, skeleton's foot ornament. Right. Well. He should be so lucky. <laughs> in my lap instead of behind me for a Hey, give me here! Give me here! Okay. Um... Gleed, give me a stealth check, please. Oh boy, what I'm known for. This thing can't get quite to you, but it gets, like, just here. And you see Lady Frida. Like, like Lady Frida is, like, up here on the horn. Nice. As it just, like, kind of, like, breathes this, like, steam out of its nose and, like, stares you down. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the bridge here, the Unshakable has uh, you, it's staring you down, Rot too. Uh, it is going to go for a couple of great axe swings. Cool. Miss on the first one. Miss on the second one. It's going to follow up with a hoop. Miss on the hoop attack. As it like just like glances on your armor and it like goes to kick you and like you like barely move and it kind of like looks with like a little bit of shock. Cool. Uh, skeleton Rider <laughs> uh, is going to move a little bit closer, but again, can't really do much as everything else is in the way. Obertus. Uh. So, what's involved with using a spell scroll? Uh, so, to use a spell scroll, if it's not a spell that you know, and it's not a spell that you can normally cast, then you roll 
um, an intelligence check, and the DC that you're trying to beat to be able to cast the spell is 10 plus the um, spell's level. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. yeah you, you successfully cast probably any spell you have there. Dragon's Breath? Oh. Yep. Yeah. I've always just the to use this spell. Yeah, just the mental image alone is so. So, I'm gonna go with cold. Okay. I don't know if that makes a damn bit of difference, but it sounds like a good idea. I'm imagining frosty damn frost covered skeletons in front of me here. So, uh, how do I? Oh, how do I position that? Uh, you should be able to, uh, when you click in, should be able to hit shift on it. But you might not be able to do it unless you have it. Let me see here. I, I just, like, oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, basically that. There you go. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, they have to make uh, DC Save. 13 dexterity saving throws. Could be fun. Cold. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, that's ah. only one of them. God. <laughs> Fourteen wow. minus one. <laughs> but still half damage, right? Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, still half. And so. lasting fails. Come on, big money. Oh, that I'll take that. Fourteen and seven, not bad. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. I love any effect that's still half damage on a success. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many in 5e, there's so many spells and effects that are like basically save or suck. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of feels bad. <laughs> it feels not good. Yeah. So, feels bad, man. You watch as Obertus like pulls this scroll frantically out of his bag and like. Pulling it open and reading it, Obertus, you, like, scribble this, like, it looked like this light blue, like, almost, like, ice-cold radiating rune in the air that the scroll itself kind of, like, disintegrates into this symbol, like, absorbs into this symbol, and then, like, you breathe the symbol in and then blow out this, like, icy, like, like, like flame of ice, this, like, waft Sick. of ice over these Badass. two skeletons. Yeah. Where is Frida? Is she still oh, on, the, on the horn? Yep. Still okay, on the skeleton. Okay. Flopping around. Just, you know. Can I still do a bonus action or not? I'm kind of, I know I'm stuck. I'm here between, I'm back to back with Rot Tooth right now. It, it was the bonus action to, to cast the Dragon's Breath. And that okay. lasts on you for a minute. Sure. Yeah. So like, on okay. consequent turns, you can use your bonus action to, to do another breath, I believe. That's fine. That's fine. I was thinking bonus action to cast, like, Healing Word, but that's good to go. That's okay. Thanks for thinking of me. Yeah. <laughs> I would have probably, if it was me, I would have probably said the same thing. It's the bonus action is me reading the damn scroll and making right. a check. So. Oh, sorry. Until the spell ends, you can use an action to exhale the cone. Okay. Just reading over the spell against these nice lit these nice uh agile skeletons yeah is, is that every turn he has yeah, it's uh, for for a minute for a minute so yeah. basically uh what nine like more. the next three oh shit oh my nine god more. huge if you count the first one as the first first round then it's 10 rounds you can do it yeah because he's trying to six seconds yeah okay huge it's gonna be huge huge it's gonna be huge uh okay rock tooth 
I'm going to see that Umbertus is friggity fucked, and I'm gonna pour a greater healing potion down his mouth. You're like, hey, down the gullet. Drink this. <laughs> yeah. So. Are you back? Oh yeah, I'm back. Okay. We're back, baby. I thought I understood that, but I couldn't quite. Okay, you get 17 hit points back. Uh, 17 on, uh, Defiant? Oh, sorry, that was 17 oh, no, no, healing. No. Yeah, just healing, healing. <clears throat> okay. Um. We're on a bridge, right? Yeah. And then there's water underneath. Okay. Uh, how big is this Minotaur guy? He's large size. Cool, I'm gonna pick him up and throw him in the water. Okay. Huge. Twenty-six. Cool. You like toss him over and the side into the water. Um, the, he is heavy enough that the water is not going to rush him away like the small skeletons did in the first round. That's okay. How how high up is the bridge compared to where he fell? Uh, like it's like high chest level for him. So like. Okay. You like it could still like swing and hit you, but it's gonna take a bit of doing for it to get actually like on the bridge. Okay. Um. Let's see. I don't want to leave Umbertus up here, so I'm gonna move five feet this way. And, uh, I guess I will... So you've seen the shroud. Now that I've he now that you've poured the healing potion down my throat, the shroud, like, let lets go of my body. And so it returns to the kind of cloak that I've been wearing the entire time. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> hey, sorry for getting buried. My bad. That's okay. All right. We got this, though. Uh, we got to save Frida, but let me take these guys out real quick. Did I and put I that turn. in the chat? I'm sorry. That thing looks That's so all good. cool. So metal. Yeah. Super yeah. fun. Yeah. It's so cool. Uh, Galeed. All right, I am going to How tall is the ceiling in this this throne room? In the throne room, um Saris made the ceiling fairly tall. You're looking at about 60 feet. Okay. Um, and in the hallway... Uh, 30. It's 30 feet? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have an option. I am going to... move up, and I am going to swing on the Minotaur Skeleton with the Adrenal Blades. Um, I'm gonna say for the purposes of their of their function, I chose Fight um, whenever I rolled initiative. Okay. So the bonus is plus three instead of plus one. And there is no other, there's no other enemy within five feet of him. I can't see anything. No. Past. Okay, perfect. So I would get sneak attack. Uh, okay. So I am going to attack both, both blades with the adrenal. 
Um, first attack is... Wait, the sneak attack doesn't count if Frida's unconscious. No. But because of being a swashbuckler, if oh, there's right. no, other, no other creature within five feet, I still get it. I forgot you were a swashbuckler. That's why I'm so bad at sneaking. Um, so for the formula on the adrenal blade, it I think it already has the plus one added, but yeah. I just need to add the plus two, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Why? I don't know what's happening tonight. Oh no, this isn't tonight. This is every time. I'm <laughs> um. Okay, I so, feel so bad for you, Peyton. It does. It happened every single week. Oh yeah, this is every every game. There's a roll that's like tight, but other than that, it's hot garbage. It is. I'm it glad... is the the lore of Glee. Yeah, I'm glad you keep showing up on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, second, my offhand attack. I'm gonna go ahead. Fifteen? Fifteen... Hits! Dope. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even add the plus two, so it would have been a seventeen. Alright, so I am attacking with my sneak attack. Big money, no whammies. Ooh, that's some good damage. Hey. Okay. Um, I am going to risk the attack opportunity. And I am going to dip out. Okay. Uh, it's going to take the attack of opportunity. As it should, justifiably so. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty hits, yeah. Twenty-four damage. All right, I am going to uncanny dodge. I'm going to take. Yeah. Because I would be an idiot if I didn't. And I will. Uh... Yeah, that's it. I will end, end my turn. You got it. Uh, lasting Ogre Skeleton uh, is going to uh, attack Obertus. And miss. Oh, um, okay. oh, actually, with real quick, I'm so sorry. Uh, I have a feature called Fancy Footwork. If I if I make an attack, um, they don't get opportunity attacks against me. Okay, yeah, bring your health back. Okay. Sorry, I forgot about that until I was just looking at all my features. You know what? It's been like I I feel like it's been like a a little bit since we've been at the table, so I don't blame you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm double checking everything now. <laughs> I'm gonna use Sentinel since uh, it attacked Avertus yep. next to me yep. to attack oh. it. Um, Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, <coughs> one of my charges of Charm of Accuracy as well. Okay. Plus 10 on this hit. Nice, just guarantee it. We got charms yeah. working. First yeah, charm, yeah. not just of this <laughs> campaign, but of all the campaigns that have had the charms available. Um, Ardor technically was first, but his popped off automatically when he got his. Like, he didn't, like, choose to activate it. It was a charm oh, of nice. uh, prescience, and he already has portents. Like, that's his wizard style, so he had six portent rolls to work with. Oh, oh wow. damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Wow. Yeah, he, ro he rolled the, the perfect charm for him. But otherwise, you're the first Great. person to, like, choose to use one of your charms. To oh. willingly activate it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get situational bonus of 11 because I'm going to be using my Bone Crusher shield, which I get plus one to attack and damage with. Nice. 
guy got fucking hit. 33? 33. 33. I think that hits. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that hits. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. She even fourth the damage. Cool. There we go. Love um, to see it. So short animated armor. Once again, you hear the clink, 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 clink of like the 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 the, 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 arm, the armored feet running. Um, you watch. It being pulled short and you doing clink, 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 clink that fast makes me think that it's just fucking so small. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's teensy tiny. Teeny tiny, baby. Frida is once again still uh, not dying, but unconscious, unfortunately. Oh my god. Like, god, get her off this horn. <laughs> yeah, god, get her off this horn. For sure. <laughs> I feel so bad. Honest Ogre Skeleton is gonna throw a spear at you, Rot Tooth. A jab, oh, no. A nope. miss. Uh, the Cloistered Rudalian uh, Skeleton uh, goes to pass the threshold. I'm giving uh, the short animated armor uh, attack of opportunity. The armor misses, but distracts the skeleton, which steps back and uh, is going to take its swings on the armor. Uh, 16, just hits it. Second attack. That's a miss, and then a hoof kick. Kick. Also a miss. As Galid, you saw this thing like kind of like step through and then step back, and then you hear like the the clash of the metal uh, as it's like taking swings at it. Uh, on the other side here, the unshakable okay. Ruda. Yeah. Uh, Rudalian Minotaur here uh, is going to uh, use it's probably not going to need the athletics roll. Yeah. Cool. It uses its action to climb back up onto the bridge. Uh, nerve wracking Skeleton Rider. Again, can't really do much right now. Uh, it is going to use its War Cry of the Dead. Can't wait to hear what that is. War cry of the dead. So it lets out this like shrieking howl. Um, all the undead creatures within sixty feet of it recover two d four health. Um, all living creatures within sixty feet must make a wisdom saving throw with a DC of fifteen. On a failed save, you take two d four necrotic damage and are frightened for one minute. And you can repeat the saving throw uh, at the end of uh, your turn. Um, on success, oh. you are uh, taking half damage and not frightened. So, so who would that be affecting? That's going to be Obertus. That's going to be Rot Tooth. Uh, and that's it. Obertus and Rot Tooth. Okay, I'm going to use my Beholder Gym, which I've had this whole time. Uh, and it will give me a plus 1d4 to my saving throws against spells. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is not a spell. This is, a, th this is an ability. Well, I hate you. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right. Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, sweet. I did it. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's uh, 8. So Rot 2 failed to save, so you take 2d4. Oh, I failed to save by 1. <laughs> so you take 4 necrotic damage, and you are frightened. You're a scaredy boy. Such a big man, little scared. 
Uh, oh, Baratus, you take two damage and you're not frightened. Nice. Huge. 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 <laughs> and uh, that's going to be the Skeleton Rider's turn. Oh, Baratus. Okay. Um... Should we try to get to Frida so that she can play? Scroll back up. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Is I'm hoping to kill the Minotaur in some way that I can then retrieve her. But until that happens, I don't. Yeah. I don't. All right. Know. How do I? Oh. I, know, I know everybody's doing their best, guys. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, I should have healed. I should have healed as opposed to killing that dude, but. Okay, How do here I we are. live and we learn? <laughs> yeah. Use well, the... we might live and we might learn. Dragon's Breath again. That's the good question. Oh. Uh, oh, well, um, you, you. So, what it was was a DC. It was DC a DC 13 deck save for them. Um, right. And if you're using your action to do it, then just the damage is 3d6 of the cold damage. You just have to do yeah. it manually. All right, well, I'll roll the damage. You get to roll the sa Oh, saves. There you go. Nice. That's some good damage. Nice. All right. Hell yeah. The same two dudes in front of me again. Yeah, Obviously. lasting next, next over. To makes the save. It's half. Of course. Still nine damage. Honest Ogre crits on the save. Wow. They still take still nine, nine damage. damage. Yeah, that, that's still that, that's still fairly impressive as you like breathe more of this frost onto them. And then. Is there any way you could heal yourself right now? I could, but I'm gonna do this first. On Frida. Oh wow. Can you reach her? Uh, is she? Oh, where is she? She's up oh, like she close is. to the throne. Oh, that's I yeah. How far away is she? She's all the way up at the throne. Yeah, she's literally all the way up here with with me. I'm so yeah, you, you, on yeah, that guy's you, you, Yeah, you, oh. you can't. You won't be able She's to cast way off. Oh, okay. Yeah, you won't be able to cast it on her. You can't see her either. Yeah. Oh, God. Well then, she's within uh, range. Well then, I obviously will not do that. Yeah, that's okay. And I will, and I will, do, <laughs> and I will do this instead. Nice. That seems like a good, solid plan. Yeah, very, very beneficial. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, I don't know what I can do since I'm frightened. Um, so you can't go near um, the skeleton rider. Like, you can't advance okay. forward against the skeleton rider. Uh, and additionally, okay. hold on, let me do. do, do, do. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Frightened is in chat. Cool. So my ability checks will be regular checks right now. Okie dokie. And so I can't attack hey. the Okay, so I'm going to have to go after the Minotaur Skeleton. Okay. 
Burgess, is you're going to be all right if I run this dude 30 feet away from us? I will figure it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's try, do an athletics check. No, 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 no. Listen, uh, skele Ogre Skeleton Boy in front of me is looking really brittle right now. Shit. Yeah, I can't attack him. I can't fucking attack this guy either. Okay, that. Uh, I don't know if I have anything for a bonus action. Do you use this coin? Is it a full action? Depends on the spell. Oh, we just don't know what. Is it random though? No, because the spell itself, like, for instance, if you were ca using it to cast, like, uh, an Eldritch Blast, that's uh, normally an action to cast. So depending on the cantrip mm. that you're choosing, would determine whether it's an action or a bonus action. Gotcha. I have... I'm not going to be using this, then. I have no idea what even cantrips to be looking for. Okay. Um, I guess that is my turn, then. <laughs> Alright, so I have <laughs> I have a strategy and it is the only thing I can think of that works for me in this moment. Um, so I am going to run up to the Minotaur. Yep. I am going to swing okay. with the Adrenal Blades. Okay. Um, attack, add my plus two. Normal. 13 Which hits. Misses. Oh, her 13 hits. Nice. Okay, I will do damage with my sneak attack. Normal. Some pretty good rolls, honestly. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll, hey, I'll take it. Uh, and then, with my fancy footwork, uh, so I'm going to use my bonus action to dash and get 25 feet away. And I will not take an attack of opportunity because I have fancy footwork. Yep. And that's that, that's it. That's what I got. I'm running in, I'm swinging, and I'm getting out. Nice. That's a good strategy. Blasting Ogre is going to swing at Oberdus. And miss. Yay! Uh, short <laughs> animated armor. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Misses its attack. Uh, it gets two, though. Oh, yeah. Nice! That's a hit. Big if true. That's seven damage. We'll take it. We'll take it, baby. Uh, yeah, it's not a kill shot, but this thing is starting to look worn down. One step closer to getting Frida back in it. Woo! <laughs> Lady Frida, do me a favor. Roll hey. a d20 for me. If you roll sure, a 19 or 20, you're going to come to consciousness. Okay. We'll just see what happens. Just so I can get you rolling something. Yeah. Just some sort of participation. She's in the presence of the that statue is a of one. Mir. <laughs> the relief of, relief of me, isn't she? Okay. It's, um, it's essentially what you asked for, but the opposite. Lady Frida, <laughs> for being such a great sport, go ahead and give yourself five points on your points card. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, the honest ogre skeleton has never told a lie and already threw its javelin, so it's just kind of hanging out there. Nice. <laughs> hey guys, I just I'm happy to be here. Happy you to know? be here. Uh, this Rudalian skeleton is focused on taking out the armor.
Um, misses on the first attack. Hits on the second attack. For 26 damage, smashing this armor apart. And then it's going to expect it. move into the chamber here. Do it. Uh, unshakable Rudalian skeleton is going to try and throw you in the soup. Uh, rot tooth. So uh, the number to beat is a 25 on the athletics. Ooh. Uh, and this is okay. Normal. I don't. Oh no. It like grabs you, or it grabs hold of you, and like tosses you into the river. The current is strong, but you're also very heavy. So same thing. You're not being moved by the current. However, you're like fully in the water um, and are wearing heavy armor. So currently you're like drowning. Cool. Which is oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, skeleton Rider is just going to hang out. Oh, Bertus. Okay. Uh, well, let's... Uh... Let's use that uh, dragon's breath one more time. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, hold on. This has got to be a deck save. Normal. Lasting fails. Lasting is dead. You breed this frost over it and like it's bones, like, you watch as the frost, like, fully, like, envelops the bone before it just, like, shatters into cubes of ice. Woo! Uh, this one here. Put it right. Also Put fails. It and eats that 13 as well. All right. Last, last second level spell. On I Mr. believe in on, you. On Mr. Honest Ogre in front of me here. 20's a hit. 20's a hit. What? Give me something. Give me something. Ugh. Seven, seven will be enough. Yeah. Yes, just to drop that spiritual weapon between me and him, or kind of right next to the light spell, and sure. I guess that'll do it. Because that guy's behind me, so I can't really back up. <laughs> I am yeah. where I am. Hold, holding the bridge. Hold door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rot tooth, you're in the soup here. You're starting to take in water. Um, you see like like waves of fish floating by. Um, what are you doing? Can I roll something about this fear? Uh, yes, you can. For the fear effect for the war cry. Isn't it the end of each of your turns? Yeah, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Wisdom saving okay. throw. So I guess I'm just going to try and pull myself up on the bridge. Okay. Cool. I've never... Man, so cool. Okay, I am drowning. You are drowning. Um, you are <laughs> Right now, well, you be consider to yourself... Welcome of my experience. Consider yourself in difficult terrain. So you think you could probably get yourself onto shore... Um, but you probably couldn't, like, drag yourself onto the bridge afterwards. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, wait, actually, sorry. Do I have? What's your regular movement? 30? Yeah. So to get on, like, solid shore, that'd be 10. It's kind of like kitty corner onto the wall. 15? You could just get onto the bridge. Okay. And, 
Alright, I don't have an action, so I guess I'll roll. Is it a wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Not a ability. <laughs> Gilead, your turn. Gilead! Alright, we're it's... repeating it because it's big. Um, running up, make our attack. Oh, wait, here, let me move first just for posterity's sake. Make our attack, hope to God it hits. And it does. Give me some damage. Uh, uh, normal. Mm, low rolls, but that's enough. Let's fucking go. Do you like a spin and like kind of like cut it in half, or like and and like with the extra like little bit of momentum from the other blade, cut the horn where Frida is like gored on, so that like Frida falls separately away from it as it yeah. collapses. <laughs> yeah. Um. Whoo! There's that. Okay. Um. It's a full action to uh, to feed someone else a potion. No, it's bonus. But a bonus. Action. It's a bonus action. Bonus okay. Action. That is what I would like to do. Let's see. What do I got? Yay! Uh. Yeah. Potion of healing. Usability. What do we got? 14. 14 points of healing for You're Lady alive. Frida. Woo! Uh, Frida, you are alive. My turn. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna... <laughs> what is this? What's going on? Oh, shit. What's this horn? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that. And I just, like, pull it out. And move. Pretty nifty. Right. Hollow this out and make it make like a stein out of it. I think that would be. You know what? I support that. In this instance, I support that. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm back just in time. Okay. Uh. Shit. Where am I even? Okay, I'm up here. Yeah, you are now like you haven't seen the full throne room yet. Like you now also see this throne the crystal like glowing bright and this statue sitting on the throne with the sword and shield that looks very similar to Obertus with the flower vase in front of it and this like cool like purple lighting like built into the ground itself I really like the LED setup that they've got in here also is that like a statue of Obertus over there what's the deal that's kind of interesting oh shit this guy's still alive a little bit right so uh oh no he's it's a very it's very dead it's done he's dead <laughs> it's kaputski okay. it's kaputski's <laughs> okay so where oh okay so i guess we need to make our way back up out of the throne room possibly maybe possibly i don't know Gully, do you know? Gully do you know away. where? Oh shit, he's gone. I'm not even. Okay. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> he was like, "Okay, she's back, and I'm, I'm gonna walk away for a minute." <laughs> oh boy. Well. Dang. Uh. I mean, I guess I could move 30 feet in that direction. Honest Ogre, where are you guys? So the Honest Ogre is there. We're like right in front of it. Really? Yep. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I want to talk to Saris and ask Saris if we should stick around in the throne room or if we need to perhaps go find our friends um 
Ceres responds and says, uh, your friends need your help. The skeleton rider is coming, and while they're holding their own right now, I fear that it may be a little bit too much for them to handle without you. Okie doke. Okay, well, I'm gonna drink another little healing potion here. Thanks for that advice, Ceres. Gilly, we gotta go find the other dudes. Uh, let's see. Potion of rejuvenation. Beep boop bop. Okay, so that's another five. And you get a level one spell slot back. What? Nice. Oh. Yes. Oh, are you still rolling in the private room? Oh shit, I am. Thank you. You changed that. Public. Thank you. You didn't already change that for me, right, Bad Hair? What? The spell slot thing. No, I didn't touch it yet. Okay, thanks. I did, just now. There you okay. Go. And, alright. Um. Let's move our. 30 feet here. Let's, let's not. Let's. <laughs> make 30 feet. Whoops, JK. It might not let you go through the wall yet. You might have to like. Yeah, you'll have to corner. go through the corner. All right. First. I thought I I thought I was doing a bit of a turn. Okay. All right. Jesus. There's twenty five. There's five. And okay, I shall end my turn. Beep boop. Honest. Good to be back, baby. Um. Good to have you back. Hey. About the spiritual weapon, Obertus, like, could my, my my skeleton can move past it, right? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't impede. Okay. Just one double check. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I can't I can't wall. Uh, it's still gonna miss. <laughs> Alright, top of the round. We've got the Rudalian Skeleton, uh, where it's going to just, like, try and reef on you with its great axe a couple times here, um, Rot Tooth. Okay. Its goal now is to try and inflict pain. <laughs> oh, that's close. Getting, yeah. Oh. That's oh, it. Nope. <laughs> what? Oh, it's, uh, oh. 23. Does Ty not go to Defenders? I forgot. No, it oh, it's a. Uh, is it meets? Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's attacking, yeah. <laughs> I I play Ty goes to the Defender. Gotcha. There we go. So that's 14 damage as it like kicks you in the chest real hard. Let me take um, Nerve wracking skeleton rider. It's going to move into range here so that you can see it, if you look down the way you can feel its presence even if you're not looking at it um rot tooth cool well, let's see if it recharges its war cry it does not uh, once again it just stands and watches the mayhem occurring here Obertus. okay um well just gonna keep laying into it, I guess. So, another round of cold breath in the face of the thing. Uh, yeah, and... so the honest ogre <laughs> makes it safe, so it'll take half. Uh, and the nerve wracking skeleton. 
or the skeleton rider, I should say, fails its save, so it's gonna take the whole 12. Nice. Spiritual weapon. Burgess, Burgess just looks so funny. He just looks suave as hell. Yeah. <laughs> That's on the Honest Ogre? Same one. Yeah, yeah. the same one. I'm basically doubling down on him, trying to nice. get his big ass off of me. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Anything else for you, Albertus? No, that don't. Rot to. There's not really a whole lot for me to do or where and places for me to go, so. Okay, oh, um, did you put? Did he pull himself up out of the water? Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. But for a while there, he was swimming with the fishes. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, quite literally. Just dying. Um. Just okay, casual. I'm gonna... Athletics check against this uh, Kelly boy in front of me, then. Okay. Do. Uh, I'll do another wisdom save. There we go. That breaks you out of the frightened. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna move down then. Five feet. I'll there take the attack, attack of opportunity. opportunity. Okay. <clears throat> That's a miss. We. Okay. Good for me. The lead. All right. It, um, I have done it, so I am gonna wander through here. I'll get here, and then I think I'll use my bonus act that. So I'll do, can I go here? Nope, I can't. Five, 10, 15. And I see old, uh, old Redalian Minotaur Skeleton homeboy over here, and I get flashbacks to this scary other one that I just killed, and I'm like, oh shit! And I'm pulling out <laughs> Christmas pistol, <laughs> and we're gonna try and we're gonna try and take him down. Also, uh, so I'll go ahead, roll for my pistol attack, and eight. Hey. And there is, yeah, there is no one within five feet of him, so I get sneak attack. For a nice little 22. Off and off. Nice. Wow. Thank God. As you blow, like, part of its skull off. Yeah, you made jokes about my shooting, but I'm here to prove you wrong. I've got my license. This one time, it's really good. <laughs> Just holding it up. I have my license. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm waving it around. <laughs> my right to bear arms. <laughs> and that's it. That's that's, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, Frida. Okay. All right. I am. Hello. I'm gonna move up. Ten-ish feet, five, ten feet. Boom. Okay. Okay, that put that. Five feet. 
I cannot remember the range. I see. What is it? 30 feet. Cool, cool. Okay. All right. Break out our onions. Start tossing onion blooms at this dude's face. Yeah, you are. I really should not have. Yeah. Hopefully. Freaky, you mother freaker. <laughs> she is hilarious, bro. Was that Deanna? <laughs> yeah, oh my god, did you hear her? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. I had no idea what she's doing, but yeah, that was her. That's so. Uh, makes the con save, but go ahead and roll the damage because it takes half. Okay. Five, it's five crits you've rolled tonight. All right. Okay. Um, let me see. Really? Do they? What did I? Did I change them? I didn't even realize I actually saved it. Oh, cool. I didn't. I didn't know that I saved it. That's awesome. Okay. I need to see how many succulents are. Okay. Give it a bop. Give it a bop. Come over here. Fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> do that again. I have an itch. I'm only using one hand because I'm petting a cat with the other one. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that again because I've only got one succulent surge point left. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Honest Ogre Skeleton uh, is going to uh, try and bring down uh, Oberitus, who has been trying to chunk at him, uh, and Shut is going to crit. Up. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the again. <laughs> that is 16 damage. Boy. Oberitus, if you live through this, just think. Next level, I think, you get... You get the ability to cancel crits. <laughs> Just swings down hard and like brings the great club down on you. You feel that like crunch as it like trying to like just like compresses you inside your armor. Um at the top <laughs> of the round, this ro or what <laughs> robot, another one of these animated armors will spawn in. Um, um. At the top of the round, we're, that's where we're going to stop for tonight, and we'll conclude this next week. Um, okay. However, the last thing that happens um, is you hear this loud shriek come out of the skeleton rider, followed by its eyes piercing both you, Rottooth, and Obertus in the front, like looking and gazing right into your soul, like basically, like like looking through you. And all you hear it say is, Dominion will claim the crystal. And that is where we're going to end session for tonight. Sounds like that guy wants to freak you guys. <laughs> if I didn't know better. <laughs> to anybody tuning in at home, thank you so much. Um, the VOD for this is going up uh, probably sometime tomorrow, so it'll be available over on the YouTube. We'll be back uh, hopefully next week with more of uh, the cleaning crew where we will wrap this up and we'll see um, what adventures await our heroes. Uh, does anybody have anything to plug for this week? No. Okay. Nope, nope nothing fun. fun. No, quiet. Quiet. Well, quiet times. We are off on Kenhup's stream tomorrow, but I think we might be doing a friendo stream of What the Dub, where it's kind of like a it's a party game, um, where we watch like video clips and have to um, caption those video clips. Nice. nice. Yeah. Fun. It's a little bit of improv fun. Um, check that out. I'll probably stream it tomorrow. Um, I'm assuming Count Monsterod's going to stream it on his platforms tomorrow as well, so check that out. Uh, otherwise, thanks to everybody who tuned in. Love every single one of you. Hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And as always, power to the players. We're out. Bye.